Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Stott and I'm the Emperor of Stemeria. Today I want to give a progress report for Southwood, a Stemerian province. So I'm at Southwood today, and you'll have to forgive the mess, I am still in the middle of doing some works. Uh, but while it's quiet, while I've got a moment, I'm going to give a quick run through of what I've been doing and what I plan to do for the remainder of this day. Uh, now this isn't actually the end of April, um, it's currently the uh, 20th of April, but I did want to make sure that uh, I got some footage of what we've been doing here over the last few days because I'm not likely to be back down at Southwood in April so I just want to uh, grab some footage while I still can. The uh, other Waywoodians uh, are out and about, they're currently uh, doing basically what uh, amounts to an MOT for a bouncy castle uh, so they're handling that but they should be back in a uh, half an hour, an hour or so but as I say I just want to use this moment while I have a moment to myself to run through what I've been doing. So uh, this little entrance way here for those uh, who are already familiar with the woodland, this is the entrance, and then this all needs to get sorted out. This needs to be leveled, this needs to be, uh, well, uh, have some stone added to it uh, just to make it a bit firmer for uh, driving on. It's been churned up pretty badly, and uh, that needs all sorting out. I'm currently removing this stump here. So I've pushed back the um, boundary of the memorial garden a little bit. So I can get this stump out and then hopefully that'll open up the entrance way a little bit more. But going forward we do want to uh, have some more gravel and stone brought in just to make sure that the uh, track is as suitable as possible. This trailer here <laughs> has been brought in by Wayward. Uh, they are currently doing some uh, works in regards to trying to uh, get the bouncy castle uh, up and running as a business enterprise. Uh, along with the, um, uh, well, basically a mo mobile tea room. Um, it's uh, going to be something that they're going to be working on, uh, creating like a kind of an entertainment kind of industry, I suppose. So, yeah, that's all happening. Uh, this is not uh, staying here long term. This is actually just going up the road. They're just preparing the, um, uh, the, the area where it's going to be um, more permanently. That's going to get sorted and then it's going to get taken there. So that's all fine and dandy. Now, as we walk down through the woodland, uh, you'll have to forgive, as I say, any tools laying about or ladders laying about. Uh, I will explain in a moment. But I just want to highlight all of this glorious rhubarb that is now really coming into its own. It's going to get a lot larger as time goes on. So in another month or so, these will look very, very small in comparison. But I've uh, added some mulch, some, uh, some leaves to the beds just to keep the moisture in. Now that we're starting to sort of come to the end of spring and starting to get a bit warmer, starting to get a bit hotter, I want all of the moisture to be retained in the soil as much as possible. It is uh, obviously quite free draining. They are raised beds, so it shouldn't uh, get too damp, I should hope. Um, but as I say, this will hopefully just keep the uh, rhubarb relatively um, well watered uh, if you like I just want to make sure that as much moisture is retained as possible uh, just to make sure they can grow as large as possible because they are relatively drought resistant as I understand it but they do prefer to have uh, some water going so that is the name of the game so I've tidied up the um, the beds it looks a lot sharper looks a lot cleaner uh, and you will also notice that the clover that was seeded a little while ago is starting to take hold. Now, I had very little expectations when this first went down. Uh, I am uh, actually 
uh, a little bit disappointed that it's not taken a bit more given the time that has elapsed since we uh, put the seed down but we do have a little bit of greenery and it is growing and i'll show you the rest of the land that we've done uh, in just a moment but as you can see it's just a, a little bit patchy in areas it's a little bit um small still i think it's supposed to get a lot larger some of the uh, i mean this wasn't even supposed to be seeded at all but this little area uh which is it gets quite a lot of traffic in and out of the shed and all the rest of it and that's still taken relatively well uh these ladders just in case you're aware there's another one down there uh i just keep the the dogs off it's just so it has a fighting chance of actually uh taking hold so if i quickly show you this emerald sea of green where once was just mud is now looking a lot a lot more pleasant and hopefully in a few weeks time once it becomes better established it'll really come into its own uh, you'll notice down here that the leaf pile i've decided to scrap that idea uh, instead what we're going to be doing is we are going to be using uh, these compost bins to store leaves when the leaves fall so it'll be, you know, wherever it is, November, December, January, um, as and when they become available, we will collect them up and store them in here for April, May, June time, where we will use it as a sort of leaf mulch. But in terms of like properly composting them, uh, I think we're probably going to scrap that idea and just use the, uh, the leaf mulch to uh, reinvigorate the soil going forward. So that's the plan there. Uh, so this has also been seeded today. I moved the leaf pile yesterday and uh, raked it out and seeded it this morning. So hopefully that'll start to come into its own relatively soon as well. And uh, for those who have perhaps noticed during my little walk, we have solar panels. <laughs> so these two solar panels here have been installed. Uh, they were installed yesterday. Now I'm no expert when it comes to uh, electrics or anything, but fortunately it was relatively easy to do so. So if I quickly show you inside, we have a little control charger there. It's all wired up, so that's all fine. Still needs to be sort of tidied up a little bit, organize the wires a bit more, just so they don't get uh, caught on or uh, snagged when we put tools away or whatever else. But we have uh, a charger and it can be used to uh, power batteries, we have all the cables down below here, ready to charge uh, batteries if needs be, but it can also do phones, so just literally plug in your phone and uh, that should be able to charge up your phone while you're here. And because we're obviously not here full time, it is just literally small power tools, batteries, that sort of thing um, that we need to um, charge, so it's more than suitable for what we need. Uh, each of these is a 120 watt um, solar panel so it gives us 240 in all which is great and yeah so between we have the the little shed storing all the tools that are necessary to maintain the woodland we have the water butts collecting water to water the plants and any of the animals that we have here and we have the solar panels gathering energy so that we can power small tools and equipment and uh devices that are necessary for us to do our work here so it's all coming together the Stumerian flag there, proudly flying in the breeze. <laughs> um, I've also uh, managed to locate and establish um, some more hedging from the woodland, so uh, taking down some of the fencing, which was here before temporarily. So that's all down there. I'm just going to break that up. We're going to have a fire. There's some more wood down there that needs burning. It's no good for firewood or anything like that, so we're just going to get rid and burn that. Uh, I have also... For those that may be more familiar than others, uh, there was always like a horrible little muddy patch here and down here. So what I've done is I've actually excavated the entirety of it and I've actually dug a channel, put in a, a drainage pipe, a perforated drainage pipe into the beds uh, and shingled it uh, and put in some, uh, well, a mixture of dirt and hogging and all the rest of it. Uh, we need some more stone, obviously, to compact it down and make it... Um, uh, you know, a, a proper hard stand, and if you like, but as natural as we can make it. But hopefully this will stop it flooding here so badly. Uh, and the same over here, there's a little muddy patch down here. Done the same, put in a little uh, perforated pipe and taking it into that bed there. So hopefully that solves that. Uh, on this side at Wayward South, you can see that 
Uh, they too have sprinkled some clover about and that is taken very, very well. That's doing very well. It's all very green at the moment and hopefully in the next um, month or two, it'll be a case of uh, the flowers all coming into their own. There are some buds going, so that's great to see. And uh, hopefully that'll be something of a feature later on. We do need still to sort all this out. This is one of the major jobs left. That's in sorting out the sort of storage area back there. And this here, it's just uh, a rather unsightly uh, aspect of the woodland. And everything I'm trying to do here is all about minimalism. It's about ecology. It's about making everything as streamlined and productive and tidy as possible. And that is what, you know, it, it, the contrast between, you know, a pile of uh, rubbish compared to what we're uh, doing either here and what we have done elsewhere in the woodland, both at Wayward South and Southwood. Uh, you know, it's this, this is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see greenery in and amongst all this. It doesn't matter what it is really. I don't mind if it's grass or even weeds and things like that, as long as I keep out the raised beds and not too fast. Obviously we have the clover. We have the, the raspberries in here and the strawberries, which are doing very well. But it's just about keeping everything ordered, everything organized, everything streamlined. And yeah, I think that is about all I wanted to cover for the moment. Um, just trying to think before I sign off. Yeah, I think that's just about it. If you want to show your support for Stemeria or play an active role in our development and expansion, you can join as a citizen through the links below. Otherwise, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you in the next one.